The mining industry of Guinea was developed during colonial rule. The minerals extracted consisted of iron, gold, diamond, and bauxite. Guinea ranks first in the world in bauxite reserves and sixth in the extraction of high-grade bauxite, the aluminium ore. The mining industry and exports of mining products accounted for 17% of Guinea's gross domestic product GDP in 2010. Mining accounts for over 50% of its exports. The country accounts for 94% of Africa's mining production of bauxite. The large mineral reserve, which has mostly remained untapped, is of immense interest for international firms. In recent years, the mining industry in Guinea has suffered from controversy, specifically with respect to the iron ore mining industry and the block of mines in northern Guinea. Topic: History The mining tradition of Guinea is ancient and can be traced to a period before the Middle Ages, when gold and salt were trading commodities between Guinea and Ghana. Following the independence of Guinea from colonial rule, the economy of the country was largely dependent on the mining industry, in spite of political turmoil racking the country since 2011. The 1986 Mining Code was revised in 1995. In September 2011, the Mining Code was reviewed once more and a new code implemented that took effect in 2012. Changes to the code included increases in state ownership in joint ventures from 15% to 35%. Production and impact Guinea's bauxite reserve is 7.4 billion metric tons, which is 26.4% of global reserves. High-grade iron ore reserves account for more than 4 billion tons. Diamond and gold deposits, as well as uranium, have also been reported. The mineral industry has provided job opportunities to 10,000 people. In the export sector, mining has contributed to as much as 90% of earnings from foreign exchange. Guinea now ranks sixth globally in the production of bauxite. Despite holding large mineral resources, Guinea, with 9 million people, has a low income level, with the average wage less than $1 a day. There are two dozen international companies associated with mining operations in Guinea. The domestic agencies involved with mining are the Association pour la recherche et l'exploitation du diamant et de l'or, Friguia Sal, Sigiri Gold, and Societe Amig Mining International Sarl. Commodities Minerals extracted in the country by private-public joint enterprises in collaboration with the government of Guinea include bauxite, iron ore, and diamonds. Other resources mined are cement, gold, salt, graphite, limestone, manganese, nickel, and uranium. A major developer in the field of bauxite mining is the Illumina Company of Guinea Fria, which is located in Fria. The government of Guinea holds a 49% share while the Reynolds Metals Company holds the 51% balance in this enterprise. Another partner in bauxite mining is Company des Bauxites de Guinée CBG. It is a joint venture of Alcoa, Rio Tinto, and Dato Mining holding a 51% share, and the Guinean government holding a 49% share. Its exports of bauxite are the largest in the world, reportedly in excess of 13.5 million tons in 2008. Guinea has large reserves of iron ore with high potential for extraction. These largely remains untapped, and its quality grade is more than 60%. Rio Tinto's joint sector enterprise in the iron ore sector is the Samando Mine Project, with a value estimated at $6 billion. In 2012, Samando Mine was projected to produce 90 million tons of iron ore annually. The Mount Nimba Mine, also in the iron ore sector, is located in the Nazarekore region, while the Kalia Mine is in the Farana region. Diamond potential is estimated at 40 million carats. In 2012, production was 266,800 carats as per the Kimberley Process Certification Scheme, and it is listed as the 13th largest producer. A large number of gold mines are located in northeastern Guinea. The estimated production in 2011 was 15,695 kilograms. One of the country's largest gold mines is the Lufa Mine in the Farana region. The Kalia Mine is owned by Belzone Mining. Controversies and corruption in the mining industry 
In 2008, the government revoked the Rio Tinto license for the Samando mine, awarding it instead to BSGR, a company associated with Benny Steinmetz. After the election of President Alpha Conde in 2010, investigations were launched into several allegations of corruption within the mining industry and the government of Guinea expropriated BSGR's rights to mine at Samando. But in November 2016, Rio Tinto came under fire for alleged corruption, involving a $10.5 million bribe paid to an aide and close advisor of President Conde to influence him to give the Samando license back to Rio Tinto. Rio Tinto admitted making the payment and fired two senior executives. There have been further corruption allegations leveled at President Conde's government involving bribery from the U.S. hedge fund Ock Ziff. In August 2016, Samuel Mebiami, who worked for the company, was arrested and charged in the U.S. with bribing Guinean and other African officials on behalf of Ock Ziff to receive mining rights and access to secret information. According to the U.S. prosecutors, Mebiami was also part of a conspiracy to form a Guinean state-owned mining company and was involved in rewriting Guinea's mining code. Mebiami pleaded guilty to conspiring to make corrupt payments to African members of government in December 2016. In 2017, Okzif Capital Management Group came under investigation for several instances of bribery in the Guinean mining industry as well as widespread bribery across Africa. In September, a unit of Ock Ziff pled guilty to engaging in a multi-year bribery scheme. The judgment handed down included regulatory sanctions against Ock Ziff founder Daniel Ock. In 2018, Michael Cohen, head of Ock Ziff European Operations, was charged with 10 counts of fraud. This followed a lengthy investigation by the Securities and Exchange Commission (SEC) in September 2015. An investigation was launched into Mohamed Alpha Conde, the president's son. The French financial public prosecutor charged him with embezzling public funds and receiving benefits from French firms that are involved in the Guinean mining industry. Another case of alleged corruption in the country's mining industry is based on the findings of an NGO called Global Witness. According to their report, Sable Mining, an AIM listed company, got close to President Conde prior to the elections and bribed his son in order to receive iron ore mining rights to the Mount Nimba mine. These allegations have been under investigation by Guinean authorities since March 2016. See also